Hey there guys, welcome to another Friday time lapse. And in this video, I'm actually going to be uh, working on something that I've been re that was requested a while back when I was working on the magic wallet. And you guys wanted to see me make a triple magic wallet. Well, I'm actually going to be making a quadruple magic wallet in this video. And um, it actually bears a lot of resemblance to the Jacob's Ladder toy. I'm not sure how many of you guys are familiar with it, but it kind of it's kind of a toy that has a whole bunch of pieces together and it kind of just flips back and forth. It's set up exactly the same way as a magic wallet, except it's a whole bunch of magic wallets connected together. And that's kind of how the concept of the, of the duct tape magic wallet came uh, into existence because of the toy. And uh, so I'm actually going to be working on a totally new magic wallet here. Work on the two uh, pieces here first. Do not watch this video if you guys are looking to make a magic wallet and you've never made one before. Definitely do not use this video as a guideline because I'm moving way too quickly to really understand how it's done. So definitely check out one of my other tutorials if you're trying to make one of these because I'm moving way too fast for you to understand it. Uh, so I'm going to work on the actual part here. This will be the first part of a magic wallet. Just, you know, two pieces. Got straight on one side and crossed on the other, which you can see there. And the trick is when you're making this is that there are so many different pieces to fold over. They Sometimes they have to go underneath each other, and it gets really confusing eventually when we get toward the third and fourth pieces. So there you go, there's the one piece there. And now we're going to work on the third piece. This is in this is uncharted territory here for most of you, unless you've been a little more adventurous with your magic wallets. So here's where it gets a little confusing because we're working on the third piece here and just sealing those down. And the interesting part for these pieces here is they actually have to go underneath the segment on the next one. And you'll see exactly what I mean in the second. First, got to connect it to this side. And you'll see what I mean. They actually have to go underneath the straps on the other one here. So you can see they actually have to go underneath that. And that's how it becomes really difficult to make because you kind of have to seal those down without, you know, you know, getting in the way of the other ones that are already stuck on there. So I suck those down. And I'm working on the fourth piece here. And just working on that now. And this is, will be the last part of it. So if you guys really like this video and you like what I'm making here, definitely, you know, let me know. And I'll, I should be able to film a tutorial on this if enough people like it. So it's kind of like a super magic wall. It's got a lot of different pieces. So obviously those have to connect there as well. So there you go. So that's what it looks like. I'll unfold it a bunch of times. You can see. You'll notice that all the crossing sections are on one side and all the straight parts are on the other. And I kind of went back and forth a little bit so you can see all those crossing sections pretty crazy I must say from that angle it looks really confusing it's actually not that confusing but now I'm gonna to try to show you what it looks like from a Jacob's Ladder standpoint you can kinda of tell that's the way that it works the Jacob's Ladder toys are weighted so they kinda of flip back and forth they're usually made out of wood so these just takes a little bit of doing to get it to flip back and forth but it does if you kinda of work with it eventually so that's how to make the Super Magic Wallet here or the Jacob's Ladder out of duct tape and hopefully you guys liked the video. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you want to see me make a tutorial on something like this. So, hope you liked it, and I'll catch you next time on the channel. Take care.